I'm uh, currently uh, what you call this uh, checking out my uh, checking out my videos on YouTube and of course uh, this it's a game called Sim City Build It and uh, I took it up again just to uh, well just to add another another game into my uh, into my Twitch roster, right? So I'll just but I'll but don't worry, Reddit. I'll only be limiting myself to three games because that's not the main because that's not the main purpose of my channel there. Now, uh, what am I driving at here? We all know that Twitch is primarily a gaming channel, a uh, gaming platform. But there are some uh, streamers there who uh, do not just uh, games. They also do podcasts. They also well, they also engage their audience in in such topics as personal development, even politics. But nonetheless, Twitch is a gaming environment that if you don't. Uh, if you don't adjust, you will get left behind. All right, you're gonna get left behind because well, growth here on growth on Twitch is well. I don't want to uh, I don't want to sound patronizing, but it but the growth on Twitch is faster than on YouTube. Right. So here's my power. Here's my power tip for you, Reddit. Check the environment. Then, well, if it uh, if it's not going to harm or uh, veer you away from your brand, at least adjust. So, in short, check the environment, then adjust. I'm about to eat breakfast, but um, I'm going to take this time to show you this viral photo. See that? Well, what am I driving at here, LinkedIn? No matter how, uh, no matter how profitable your business is, no matter how uh, prestigious your brand is, Sometimes you have to show you, you just have to show compassion to uh, to to some people, All right? Here's here's an old lady who couldn't communicate with her family, so this um, this Apple store in Makati uh, allowed her to use one of their laptops, okay? For free, all right? For free. Then eventually. Uh, we heard that someone donated an uh, an iBook to her, right? And you know how expensive an iBook is. So it just goes to show you, LinkedIn, that sometimes you just have to be compassionate to others, right? Especially to seniors. This generation uh, of well. This generation doesn't have compassion for uh, for for old people, right? And sometimes it appalls me. Now, well, mabuti pa tong mabuti pa tong Apple store mga empleyado nila. Uh, they they showed compassion to this old lady. And they allowed her to use one of their laptops to communicate with her family. Okay. It doesn't. It doesn't take that much time to to show compassion, right? As much as possible, LinkedIn. Show compassion, right? So here's my power tip for you: show compassion without ever asking for compensation, right? Easily put. Compassion spares no expense. I just ended my uh, my stream on Twitch today, and I figured that um, 
I would uh, share this to everybody on Instagram. This was a new term that I discovered for um, while while doing all these anime reviews on Twitch. It's called the deep dive factor. Okay. What is the deep dive factor all about? Well, it's something that um, it's something that makes you anything. Okay, anything that makes you. Analyze it, or uh, or uh, yeah, makes you analyze it thoroughly down to the last, down down to the smallest detail. Okay, or or even um, picking picking a lesson, picking up a lesson from it. All right, animes um, animes have that deep dive factor, okay? whether. Uh, where do you find it? Uh, where do you find it amusing or not? Nearly every anime out there has its own deep dive factor. Episodes wherein you get to think, hmm, bakit ganito? Bakit ganon si? Bakit ganon si? Bakit bakit ganon si Osbando? Bakit ganon si Waifu? Bakit ganon si Best Girl? You know, you can also apply the deep dive factor in things like money. Relationships, uh, even 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 your own self, okay? even your own self, because well, the deep dive factor is what makes something valuable. All right, it what makes uh, it it's what it what uh, it's what makes a piece of content valuable. To tell you the truth, all right. If a piece of con- if a piece of content doesn't have uh, doesn't have that uh, doesn't have that deep dive factor, it doesn't have actual value. Okay. If you cannot learn from it, if you cannot, um, if you simply cannot um, gain value from it, okay. If you cannot, um, if you cannot add it to your own personal value. Then well, it doesn't have that deep dive factor. So here's my power tip for you, Instagram. Always look for the deep dive factor in anything. Okay, not just the positive, not just the negative, but the deep dive factor. If you're, um, if you learned something from it, then it has that, the deep dive factor. I just, uh, well, I've been one day removed from uh, seeing this, uh, seeing this post on LinkedIn about Henry Ford. And, well, I've been seeing that quote for a very long time now, and I should say, he is dead right on that. Right? It's been a hundred or so years since Henry Ford uh, passed away, but that quote is still very relevant. Right, what am I driving at here? Instagram, there's nothing wrong in thinking too hard. All right, there's nothing wrong in thinking too hard, but thinking too long, mm hmm, yeah, there we got a problem with that. But going back to Henry Ford's quote, people would rather these days, all right, people these days would rather think, think. Too long or not think at all. Those are, for me, they are two, two evils that you should avoid. Alright? <clears throat> the, the most successful people in the world think. Alright? But the least successful people in the world rather uh, are either thinking too long or not thinking at all you know if you want to get ahead in life you would rather go for things that make you think right but do not think about it for too long right do not think about it for too long 
Because, well, thinking is the essence of life, right? Not thinking at all, you're probably dead, right? Thinking too long, well, you're, um, you're, feel for, you're fearful of failure, right? Do not fear failure by thinking too long. And do not avoid thinking by, by just acting upon it, okay? At least half the time, think, all right? And here's my power tip for you, Instagram. Thinking is the essence of life. says to be a great leader you have to be a great listener so, now you see well he's very fucking correct on that all right so what am i jumping at here twitch gone on the days that well the saying, to be a great leader, you got to be a great follower. Those days are gone. Okay. Those days are gone. Because, well, it also implies this. You have to be, well, you, you, have, to, you, have, you have to be an employee first to, be, to become a manager. I don't think so. In this day of age, <laughs> You're gonna be a you can be CEO of your company by just starting your own company. That's what happens. So, in order for you to to lead something, you gotta learn to listen. Okay, Gary B was right on this. All right. So, yeah. If you don't, um, if you're not into the habit of uh, listening. Well, for me, you got no right to talk. Okay. And well, you can't lead if you don't lead. It. Makes makes good sense. Okay? It makes sense. So here's my power tip for you, Twitch. Listening is a skill. Okay, listening is a skill. We know this, but. In order for you to become a leader, you got to fine tune your listening skills first. Because listening is a leadership skill. So, well, I'll be seeing you in 30 minutes, one hour. I'll be seeing you then, Twitch. I'm gonna share something here on TikTok from uh, a, from LinkedIn. It's a text post by uh, by Tony Robbins. Here it is. What am I driving at here, TikTok? Why did I show you that uh, that LinkedIn post by Tony Robbins? Well, the world needs more successful people these days. Okay, once this pandemic is over. We should rise out of the ashes, okay, and well, make more, make our lives worthwhile, right? The first step in doing that is by well, it's not just, it's not just to decide to step up, but like Tony Robbins said, raise your standards, right? We shouldn't be satisfied with uh, with whatever goals we have right now and just keep on achieving them without without upping the ante just for, for just even just for a microscopic bit. Nope. Okay. Life is short, as they say. So why aren't we making the most of it? And the biggest way to make a, make the most of make the most out of life is by raising your standards okay you got goals 
and you've achieved them over and over again without ever changing the goal, maybe you should now. So raise the bar a little bit. So here's my power tip for you, TikTok. Raise your standards if you want your life to be worthwhile. Simply put, for a meaningful life, step it up. Thank you.